Now I'd like to welcome Mr. Sean Fitzsimons. He's one of our, the gentlemen of, involved in the group. Sean, thank you very much for your time this evening. I'm wondering if you could tell me a little bit about your role in this wonderful evening. Yeah, my, my role is very much as one of support. Um, I, I organise getting sort of transport, accommodation, food, etc. So I arranged this year for a 12 seater minibus from a company called Parfit mm -hmm. in Dublin uh, who very kindly supplied the minibus for the year or for the week I should say um, and then once we're down there all the equipment for the people has to be transported like their sleeping bags their, sleep, their, their sleeping bags tents uh, their clothes for the week uh, change of clothes mm -hmm. and so on that all has to be transported so that's what I do and then I go ahead and make sure the accommodation is ready if we're camping out, I put up the tents, I prepare dinner for them, I also prepare lunch for them, where, where they stop halfway, um, and general dog body, which I'm delighted to do. And who supplies all the food and things to you? Uh, do you we, the donations? We, no, we supply all our own food. Um, I go ahead and shop for the day, and then we divide it all among ourselves. And it works out very cheap. I mean, you have breakfast, dinner, or lunch and dinner mm -hmm. for the less than 10 euro a day. 10 euro yeah. yeah, less than 10 euro a day. So it works out very economical. And do the participants then have to pay for their food or how does that work out? Yeah, but I, I get the receipts from the shopping. The shopping. Right. Uh, and then I just divide it up among the, in, yeah, in, among the entire group. And I do that maybe every two days. So that, you know, it, it, it works out very well. Yeah. It means that people don't have to worry about bringing their own food. Of course. You know, of course. And you also have to find out then if people are vegetarian, or if they have any special dietary needs, mm -hmm. so that you can accommodate that as well. And how did you become involved in this wonderful... Well, I, I live on the Copper Coast, uh, down near Bon Maham. Mm -hmm. and, I know, and I'm involved in the Copper Coast Geopark. And there's a visitor centre there. And I know quite a few people, the originators of the walk and so on. Right. And I started doing this three years ago. And what I what I managed to get done three years ago as well is actually plot out the route. Right. And when I go ahead of them, I actually mark the road because we stay off the main road as much as possible. And once you go into the back roads, you know, there are very many turnings that you could take, take mistakenly. And be right. on the other side of the yeah, county before yeah, you know it. Exactly. So what I do is I mark the way for them mm -hmm. so that they have a clear road ahead and I keep them off the main road as much as possible, possible. whilst at the same time making sure they're heading directly for home where they yeah. need to go yeah and um, without having too many miles on to what's already weary legs I can assure you especially at this stage and especially through you all there's an awful lot of road works at the moment Th there are there are um, now tomorrow when we leave when we go across uh, the bridge uh, we go through Clashmore. Oh, lovely. Okay. Lovely. Uh, and then we, from Clashmore to Dungarvan. But again, from that road from Clashmore to Dungarvan, there are lots of twists and turns and mm -hmm. very easy to take a wrong turn, so it'll be my job to make sure Did that they get on the right road. And how many walkers do you anticipate you'll have tomorrow? Tomorrow, I expect we had uh, nine today. I expect to have 12 tomorrow. So, so you'd expect more bit. tomorrow and Saturday yeah. to finish there, it? There's two arrived down now tonight uh, that join us in the morning, and then um, and there was a third one that, that joined us today. So there'll be 12 on the road tomorrow. And to be fair to these people, it's on a voluntary basis they're doing it's, it? It's all totally voluntary, all totally voluntary. And it's a huge commitment, especially f for people with children and so on, to give up a week of their time. And to give up during the summer holidays. And during the summer holidays. Um, and you saw yourself today a very emotional reunion. Yes. Yes, with it was um, wonderful. one woman and, and her children, yeah. you know. So, and we had the same then yesterday evening with one of the walkers, his wife, with the two children came down and he was delighted, you know. Of course. So, uh, yeah, it can be, it's a very tiring thing, but it can be very emotional mm -hmm. because when you're on a wa long walk like that, you do spend a lot of time walking on your own, so you, you, you tend to do a lot of reflection. You do. Okay, and navel gazing and so on. And then you meet up with other walkers and you chat along the way for another few miles and then you split up again. Mm -hmm. it's, 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 very, it's a very nice journey. 
you know, for the people, people doing it. Yes, but it's, yeah. it's for their minds as well. Yeah, yeah. And it's restful, even though it's extraordinary, uh, how to say, tiring and taxing, but it can be restful for the mind. The mind. Yeah. And like tonight now, you have the, the wonderful facility of, of staying here in Michael Farrell's. So That's the tents are ready. Mike, Michael is very good to us every year. He um, he lets us stay here. Uh, we've always been very unfortunate though in Yall because it rains every year when we're here. But hopefully tomorrow morning now we'll yes. have it, we'll have a clear run of it. Uh, we've had a clear run all week with the weather, which has been tremendous. And uh, hopefully tomorrow it will be the same uh, until we get home. And it'll be two tired feet by the end of the day, and the you're, you're, you'll be able to relax on Monday morning and just. I'd, I'd, I'd be relaxing. I'd be relaxing Monday morning, and we'd be reflecting, and you know, we look back at the photographs that we put on our website, that we put on our Facebook page, and so on. And would you like to tell us what's your website name? To, 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 it's um, Orla knows. It's oh, I can't think of it offhand. But um, we have a Facebook page. Walk from A to B. Walk from A to B, yeah. and that would be because it's from Allahy to Bon Manor. Exactly. Yeah. Which is a very clever name to call it. <laughs> it is. It yeah. is very clever. I, I won't take um, any credit for that. That was a re that was done by uh, a guy by the name of Sean Cochran, who did the first walk four years ago. Right. Okay. And is it found? Is it good, very good sponsorship wise? Are people very kind and generous? We, we we don't push it that hard, but people are very generous. People do when they find out what we're doing, they just mm -hmm. automatically give money. We don't ask. And people just give, um, you know, from the people that uh, support us along the route by giving us a roof over our head when we need it and so on, and food and you know, it's just Cups marvelous. Of water and just yeah. support, yeah. Yeah. support. Yeah. Yeah. The generosity of of the country is tremendous. And it's because it's voluntary, people like to help. Yeah, and the good thing is that any money raised go to local charities. Yeah. Uh, so we can see directly where it's going. Where it's going. Yeah. Like in this case now would be the Bonman and Community Society. Yes. Which has an awful lot of groups there, but it's yeah. everybody will get something. Sure, sure. You know, which is great. Well, congratulations to you. And Thank you very much. Everybody looked happy this evening. <laughs> there was lots of empty plates and oh empty yeah, glasses. Yeah, they don't, so don't belong here in the plates. And the compliment to the chef. It, it smelled gorgeous. Thank you, yeah. And thank you very much, Sean. Thank, thank you. you. It's over tomorrow.